Hey folks, Bocif is here. Another short video. I'm still working on the next part for my Let's Play. But uh, I've done another uh, refit to the Frontier. Gathered some more money. I've been working some stuff off camera to level up some abilities before that final confrontation to complete the main story. But I still haven't done much with ships and so I need to because most of my upgrades I, I can't uh, don't have the ability to uh, get some of the higher uh, tier parts for ships yet. I started to do uh, research methods and stuff so I could start modding weapons. That may not come till my NG start. As you can see, I I got one more to max out that I really want in combat, and I'm almost. Uh, I just got to spend a point when I level up, and most of my combat ones that I want right now. Uh, to be able to finish the main story uh, are done. Persuasion. Persuasion takes a little bit to do. But I'm ready to spend a point there. And stealth. I've got a few more left to be able to get rank 4 on stealth. So I can make uh, you know, sniper shots and stuff with you know some bonus to sneak attacks and things like that that armor is the mantis armor I think it's ugly but it's some of the best armor got right now or the spacesuit I think it's very ugly now what I'll probably do for my NG run is when I finish the main story uh, probably won't do any you know major Starfield videos after that as I wait for mod support to come because I'm probably going to clean up my uh, game files and so on and so forth and switch everything over to uh, uh, Mod Organizer 2 because several of my mods are manually installed right now and so I'll probably clean up the main game files get all those mods out of there and then when uh, the creation kit is released and all the mod support happens I'll probably uh, I will start looking into what mods I'm going to use and stuff like that and use mod organizer too but anyway the cockpit had not changed from the last video I did on a on the uh, refit same cockpit But the layout of the ship has changed. This is called a control center. Adds more uh, spots for crew. I must confess, the hum of a grav drive makes me feel alive. And here is the infirmary, and I do have an additional crew member. I think. I gotta spend more perks to have more crew, so I'm at the max right now of four. Yeah, but, boss? But he is a missile guy, ballistics and missile guy, so I think he uh, improves your missile system and your ballistic weapons like cannons and stuff. This is the infirmary. And this is the computer core. Same same one as before this is a little it's going to be like a, a crew wreck area I guess read any good books lately this is the armory where I can store some weapons for display and stuff Now we're getting into the crew quarters. Fit two in here. Two. 
two in here. Now we're getting into the. What's he doing? What can I do for you, boss? How do you get up here so fast? This is the captain's quarters, same as before. And I got my viewport right above the cockpit. A little dirty. I need to get that crew to clean that stuff. So the layout of the ship has changed a little bit. A little confusing to get around in here right now until I get used to it. And here... Up to the top, deck three is the science lab. I've got a few viewports here you can see out the sides. But I can do make my pharmaceuticals here. Looks like I can cook in here. I think every everyone has a A stove you can cook at. This was, this was a funny joke the first time I heard it, but I've heard it about ten times now. Or more. Core needs some more jokes. over there for there's lavatory facilities it's a bigger ship so I had to put more engines more power more weapons it's not just a science vessel anymore and that's how you get out the top when you dock with the space station or whatever bottom right behind a uh, ramp at the bottom of the ship to, to get on the ship this is where all the crafting is done got the workbenches and I've got all my stuff all my stuff in the ship to craft with so I don't have to go to the lodge all the time and get stuff and overweigh myself with the inventory. But all the crafting stations are in here. Let's see if I can remember how to get over to the bridge. I get lost in my own ship now that it's so big. This is supposed to be some kind of crew relaxing area too later on. I, I guess it just auto upgrades, auto decorates. I was noticing that in, in the captain's quarters before.
but I'm going to go into photo mode so you can see outside the ship. Has a much different silhouette now. See, I had to do some different engines, add some extra fuel pods. Here we got some uh, laser cannon you get from the UC when you join them that you're able to purchase. I got four of those. I've got two missile launchers and two cannons. So it's a little bit more heavily armed now. little bit beefier ship it can carry a lot more as far as cargo it's more maneuverable it's faster but that is it it's not as fancy as I said in the last video it's not as fancy as a lot of other people made out there but I'm, I'm not a construction genius plus I'm I have a little hard time with the controls on the in the shipbuilder mode that I'm still trying to learn it but I think it looks better it looks better than the last upgrade I did for it. anyway um, also the not this part but the next part coming out um, when I finally finish the main story uh, that'll be the last part of the Let's Play for for just the regular regular game. I'm getting a new video card. It should be here today or tomorrow, but I suppose that I'm going to go ahead. I went ahead and got me a NVIDIA 4090 with DLSS and frame generation and all that stuff. So when Starfield, when Bethesda puts the DLSS support in Starfield like they said they were going to I'll be all ready for that but I'm going to hold off on filming that last part until I get my new video card in which will either be sometime tonight or tomorrow depending on when it gets here so anyway that's it I will have the next part uh, together soon and um, we'll go from there if you have any questions concerns comments if you like the video be sure and like and comment and subscribe and I'll see you next video